Welcome back, another edition of ND Lax TV. Again, this is this is a drill, this is an updated version of a, a drill that we probably did about five years ago. Again, we're updating because better technology, you know, more of an aerial view, I think. Uh, coaches get a lot more out of it just with us updating this edition. But again, this is uh, Umbrella, and you can see that there's five people in the drill, uh, four offensive players, and one defensive player in the middle. And all the offensive players, as you know, are, are um, played by our defenders or our d middies. And we use the space that we have. So we're often right in the middle of the field, uh, we rarely down by the goal. And so what we're trying to teach here is that, you know, as the ball moves, that you're going to make a variety of approaches. That as the ball moves and shifts the sides of the field, that you're going to have to recover, you're going to have to open up, you're going to have to try to see as much as possible, you're going to sneak a peek where you've left and trying to recover down in the crease. So in this drill, this player is not your slide man. He's uh, someone who's supporting the slide man or supporting some defenders on the crease. So the drill will start with the ball here with D4. And he'll start the ball and he'll, there's no sequencing to the drill. There's no, uh, uh, the defender DX doesn't know the order in which D4 will distribute the ball. But let's say for argument's sake, say the first pass goes to D1. So DX here will now make this approach. And these guys are at varying lengths away from DX. So he's a little bit further, he's a little bit closer, and he's a little bit closer. We get three different uh, lengths of approaches. And then D1, when he catches the ball, he's going to double move. So he can do whatever two moves that he wants. He might split and swim. He may face dodge and walk the dog and roll back. It's up to him. We're not going to tell these perimeter offensive players what, what moves to make, but they're going to do two moves. And they're going to go about 75% speed. This guy will roll out of it. He'll throw the ball back to D4. He's playing like an ex-attackman. And this the DX, will, he came and made this approach, and now he recovers. He's looking back where he's leaving and now finding the ball and creating that ball you man triangle that everybody's been taught since they've been five years old in this game. Creates that ball you man triangle there. So now D4 can throw it to either D2 or D3. He throws it to D3. Here's your next pass, Here's your third pass. Now he's back recovering. He leaves and makes this approach and it's a little bit shorter than that one. Again, double move from D3. Gives up the ball, throws it back. Fourth pass, and now DX recovers back, and he's recovering back to the front porch. He's trying to open up and create an angle where he can see his man and the ball. And then the last pass, D2, thrown over the top, almost like a skip pass. Recovers here, double move. This guy throws it back to D4, he creates a ground ball, and DX goes and gets that ground ball and escapes. So again, high rep. Conditioning challenge, real game situations, stance and athleticism, creating a bowl you man triangle, all these things that are really important when you're in off ball. A lot of our drills that we work on our slide guys stance and position. So this drill is more about your off ball and collapsing, opening up, not turning your back to your, your man that you're responsible for. So let's look at the coaching point. You're going to get an approach on three different angles. Different lengths, different angles. You're going to recover from those plays. So you get three approaches and recovery from three angles. You're going to, you're going to lead poke. We're not going to wrap. We're not going to do these things. We want to get in on hands, force the guy into a double move to buy us time. Right? You're going to have to cover three different dodges, which is really hard. Excuse me, six different dodges because you've got three perimeter guys and two dodges each. I even know that three times two is six. And last, you're going to finish with a ground ball. Because we want to get to the habit of we get stops and we get possessions and we escape and make the next play. So again, an updated version of a drill that we've already done, but I think that the aerial view and uh, the technology, you'll get a lot more out of this, th this edition. Please feel free to share. We look forward to maybe seeing you at some future camps or coaching clinics down the road. And feel free to send any suggestions or questions to us and go Irish.